guys, I am Chanel and this is going to be another try it video for you guys. Now, I am going to be doing the I wore a corset for 24 hour challenge. Um, a lot of you guys gave me different um, suggestions and so I'm going to start weeding through all of them. Um, but for today, I wore my corset for 24 hours. Alright, so with this challenge, you have to wear your corset, our waist trainer, for 24 consecutive hours. I will definitely be doing before and after pictures as well as doing measurements so that we can see what difference a 24 hour period can make when you're wearing a corset, all right? And so I know for a lot of you guys, you're like, girl, you are crazy. If you're new here, you're probably thinking that, okay? But if you already follow me and you've watched me the last several years, you know that I corset train already anyways. And so it's not really that far-fetched for me. It's just a matter of me wearing it 24 consecutive hours. All right. And so during that time period, I will definitely be eating normal. Um, I'm doing this whole keto thing right now. So I'm doing that. I will be drinking plenty of water. What else? I will not be working out. I literally worked out this morning. And then um, tomorrow is my rest day. So it will actually be cool because I'll be able to sleep in it and worry a little bit longer uh, tomorrow to kind of and not have to worry about working out. All right, these corsets, these are steel bone corsets. You cannot work out in these anyway. Uh, what else? Um, I don't think I'll be doing much of anything different in the next 24 hours, but I kind of wanted to kind of give you guys a body shot of what I look like now, show you a couple of the corsets that I'll be wearing during this time. I'm not going to just wear one the whole entire time. That's just because certain corsets are more comfortable, especially when it comes to sleeping. I will say that. And so... I will be starting off with the CS345 from Orchard Corsets. I just relaced this one, you guys, like two days ago. It's beautiful. I just love this. I, I relaced another one of mine, <laughs> um, the pinstripe one with blue lacing, and I absolutely love it. So I had to go ahead and redo this one as well. All right, so this is a CS345. If this one is longer, so it goes from the bottom of your bust up here all the way down to here. All right, so it's really long, so I'm going to start off with this one. When it's time to go to bed, I'm going to switch over to the CS411, um, which is this one here. And this one's a lot shorter. It's more comfortable for me to sleep in. The I can't really do the long ones sleep in because they're just too uncomfortable for me. Um, someone asked if I get spasms. No, I, I don't get any kind of spasms or anything like that. They're just not as comfortable as the shorter corsets. Now, both of these corsets are 26-inch corsets. I can wear them comfortably closed with no issues, concerns, no pain, no discomfort, or anything like that. As far as bedtime, I'm contemplating on wearing this one, which is even shorter. This is the 301 from Orchard Corsets, and it's the Wops Wopsy, and it's a lot shorter. And what else can I say about this one? Basically, it's just a lot shorter, all right? And for me, the shorter the corset, the more comfortable, the more mobility, um, as well and so I might even wear this one only thing is this is a 22 inch corset so if I wear this one I have to have at least a three to four inch gap in the back um, because I cannot close the 22 inches right now uh, without killing myself the 26 is I can wear closed again comfortably with no issues all right I'll do a lace up of that in this video I know a lot of you guys are asking me about lacing up I will post a strictly lace-up video for you guys. I do have a corset training update as well to share with you guys. This was the last corset that I got, which is a 201 in mesh. All right, this one is between, as far as lengthwise, it's between the 411 and the 301. So it's, it's another short little corset as well. This is, again, a 22 inch, so I cannot close this one. But I bought this one specifically for the summer. Um, because it's mesh and I thought it might be cooler and more comfortable because I, I live in the high desert you guys and it gets triple digits here so it's easier for me um, if I get wear the mesh because it's more comfortable okay let me go ahead and give you guys a body shot really really quick okay this is where I'm looking like right now and I will probably do pictures from this video as well just because it's easier to take screenshots Front, side, back, and the other side. Okay, so I had to put on something as a barrier because you always want to make sure that you wear something underneath your corset. 
just the friction of this fabric rubbing on your skin is something that you definitely do not want all right and i'm guilty in the past of just throwing on my corset on my straight on my skin in the past and i told myself i was going to stop doing that um but yeah just basically loosening the, the strings and this is the best way I, I can think to do it okay so hopefully that's loose enough i'm going to speed this up though that's basically it so i will be checking in with you guys uh a few times in the next 24 hours and then i will check back with you guys tomorrow okay it is 1 and it is june 4th so i will be checking back with you guys um for this little reveal tomorrow june 5th at 1 i'll try to do little clips between now and then you know like when I'm eating or right before I go to bed maybe when I switch out of this corset into the other one and so yeah so keep on watching it's uh almost four o'clock I'm about to have a little snack watermelon and cottage cheese and um I mean I feel pretty good I mean I feel normal I haven't had any discomfort or anything like that um yeah so I'm just gonna eat all done i'm not feeling really full i actually feel like i could eat more but i'm not going to um but yeah feeling good so far see you later thanks it's like seven o'clock and i'm driving and i think the most uncomfortable thing about wearing a corset is when it does come to driving. Um, I changed my blouse and I put a cami on over my corset so that you can't see the buckles through. I don't think you'd see the buckles through this anyways, but the cover-up that I had on earlier, you could totally see the, um, the pens and stuff. And so. so I'm feeling pretty comfortable. Um, I took a nap. I took like an hour nap earlier. Um, about to go to the grocery store and get some things for dinner and um, what else oh I forgot to do um, record my measurements but I did write them down but I forgot I forgot to actually record them on camera which is what I wanted to do um, but I'll include that um, probably tomorrow afternoon so, and so yeah so I'll see you guys um, probably for dinner time it's 10 o'clock in the morning and I'm about to eat breakfast. I have three eggs and three bacon and my coffee and my corset is actually rather tight. I went ahead and put on the 22 inch, but it's not closed. I have about a, uh, probably a three inch gap in the back. It's measuring about 20, just under 26 inches around, uh, which means the inside is probably um probably 24 and a half maybe so um i'm gonna see how i do at this level of tightness um for the remainder um again it's 10 
what is that 10 11 12 1 2 I'm gonna wait until about 2 33 just to compensate for me um you know taking a shower when I took it off or whatever and so um I am gonna eat my breakfast drink my coffee watch little Netflix and um I'll check back later today with the final reveal. This is the end of my 24 hour um, challenge. I actually wore it just a little bit longer than that. Right now it's 3 um, 22 and it is June the 5th. So I kind of went over a little bit. So I wore it for like, I'll say 25 and a half hours. Um, I actually ended up passing out last night with the longer corset on. I didn't intend on sleeping in that one, but I ended up sleeping in that one. I got up this morning, took a quick shower, and I put this one off. I kind of just want to take it off. Um, I ended up putting the 22 on. Um, it's not closed all the way in the back. Um, I have a gap. And so, yeah, but like I said, I can wear the 22-inch corsets. I just can't close them. If I want that closed look. I definitely uh, wear the 26 inches. Again, I can wear um, clothes, but I'm going to take this one off. I would keep it off for a few hours just to give my body a break from the last... Um, 24 hours but yeah it wasn't really bad though at all but I didn't necessarily expect it to be bad um probably um I think that the most uncomfortable part probably is just driving Definitely add some clips of before as well. Now I didn't get a chance to um, do the measurements prior because I totally forgot, but I did write them down after the fact. And it is so hot today too. So I started off with 31 and a half on top, which is up here. And right now I'm 29, so I am down, what is that, 29, 30, 31, two and a half inches there. And then my belly button, I was 35. And right now I am 31 and a half, so three inches there, which is really cool. And then my low... Below my belly button, I am 33 and a half, and I started off at 36, so two and a half inches there. So definitely works. I'll definitely add in some before and after pictures. I'm not saying that this is a permanent fix, but if you incorporate this alongside with exercise and diet, um, it can be. And, it, and it, for me, it has been. I've been really, really trying to do more um, ab exercises at the gym. Um, I probably try to do abs at least every other day, if not every other day, um, because I'm really trying to work on my core. And I do understand that corsets kind of, kind of have a tendency to, to make your abs lazy, and that's only because when you're wearing your corset, you're not using your abs as much versus your everyday movements you use. You're always constantly engaging your abs, but when you have a corset on, um, and depending on the, the compression or the tightness of it, it may weaken them or um, just the fact that you're not engaging them um, because you have the corset on. And so I do try to do a lot of ab exercises um, as well. So I'm definitely seeing some changes though. Um, of course, diet is so important and I've been really, really working on my diet. Um, a lot lately like I know me I know my weaknesses I love freaking soda I love freaking carbs and I love freaking sugar and so um, those are the things I have to t kind of like just eliminate because those are the those are the things that um, cause me to gain weight and when I gain it I gain it all in my ab abdominal region all up in here but yeah hope this video was helpful if it was give me a big old giant thumbs up you guys have an awesome day and I will see you guys in the next one thanks again for watching bye guys